In news that has recently broke, Baylor is moving on from defensive coordinator Ron Roberts, originally reported by Sikkim 365. And this is something that the initial shock is certainly there, but it doesn't come as a major surprise to me. And, and I, I don't think I'd be an outlier there, too, because of how bad the Baylor defense was this season. And bad, bad sounds like a strong word, but statistically, it's the case. Now, you lose Terrell Bernard, you lose Jalen Petrie and JT Woods and Jaron McVay, and that list goes on and on. But you bring guys back like C. Yaki Ika and Gabe Hall and Jackson Player and Garmin Randolph and Christian Morgan and TJ Franklin and Matt Jones. That list goes on and on. And Baylor finished eighth in the Big 12 in sacks this season. Eighth in the league in sacks. Get ready for this. Against the pass when it comes to yardage, Baylor finished eighth in the league behind teams like Texas, Texas Tech, Kansas. Against the run this season, Baylor finished, you probably could have guessed it, Eighth behind teams like Texas Tech and Oklahoma, who Baylor ran all over. Oklahoma finished with the second best rush defense in the Big 12. Baylor at eighth. And where does Baylor hang its hat? On defense. And it just wasn't that good this season. Sure, you lost a good portion of guys, but you don't expect this dramatic of a regression. And Dave Aranda shows with this move that he's not afraid to pull the plug on anybody. That nobody's safe per se, and in a good way, that Aranda, if he sees that there is a piece to this puzzle that is detrimental to the team winning, he is going to change that piece of the puzzle. And he does so here, relieving Ron Roberts of his duties. Is this something that Baylor has had in the works for a long time? I don't think so. And I don't I don't believe that it's something that Baylor had on its radar coming into this season. Like, if you asked me, um, who's on the hot seat in this Baylor staff in the offseason? I would have said no one, squarely no one. Had you asked me even in week eight or nine, I still don't think Ron Roberts is on that list, but here you get this call from Miranda that he wants to move on. Now, could there have been something extra, something added that wasn't just based on the field that Aranda didn't vibe with with Ron Roberts with? I don't know. I honestly couldn't see that because the relationship they had. And he's an original Aranda guy. He brought him in three years ago when he came to the university. This feels like just a strictly football business move. So what's next? That becomes the mentality from here on out for Baylor. Where does uh, where do the Bears go from here? Where does this staff go from here defensively? You've got to replace your defensive coordinator, and Ronnie Wheat is gone too. So now you look at replacing your safeties coach and special teams coordinator. And I, I don't know if I need to get into how bad special teams was for Baylor this season. It felt like every game, if there was one thing you could circle and be like, well, that that wasn't good pretty much the entire year. Special teams is also on that docket. So a six and six season ends in Ron Roberts being fired. The, the OG, he was here from day one and special teams coordinator, safety coach, Ronnie wheat also getting, getting the door. Uh, one thing too, before we, we get out of here, and it's just like a quick locked on Baylor update before we get out of here. A random mention across the scope of the season that they were having issues in the locker room with coaches, with maturity, with coaches' egos. And I don't want to project anything on Ronnie Weed. I don't want to project anything on Ron Roberts, but I do want to pose the question. If that was the case, if Aranda spoke day, week in and week out about issues in the coaching staff when it came to egos and issues connecting with players, you would assume that those guys who had the primary issues were probably the first ones to go. And these two guys, are the first ones to go, will it, will that be it? Will it be more guys gone? Sure. It's possible. But that, that look, Aranda's is weeding guys. He's, he's weeding out members of this staff to win games, to put his team in a position to win games and to keep the culture that he's building at Baylor and has, has kept in his first three seasons and did I think that changes this dramatic needed to be made? No. And, and I wouldn't have been upset if Ron Roberts was kept. I wouldn't have been upset if Ronnie Wheat was kept. It was his first year. But I, I'm still not shocked. Baylor's defense was was that dismal this season in a Big 12 that is now a defensive league where your, your defense has to be really solid. And that's where a lot of these teams are making their bed. Um, the offenses are not as high powered as they were six years ago. So your defense is expected to win you more, especially if you're at Baylor and you have Dave Aranda expects you to win more than six games. Uh, there were too many fall aparts this year, West Virginia, namely where the defense just didn't have it. And 
Now you're going to see a new defensive coordinator in Waco next year because of that. So we'll cover all of it uh, the rest of this week on Locked On Baylor going into next week. We'll also cover Baylor and Gonzaga. There are a lot of of big storylines coming out of BU. The volleyball team in the playoff, too. uh, Just you name it. It's kind of going on, and we get another busy season here with Baylor men's and women's basketball and everything else. So all that and more. We'll continue to break down the Ron Roberts conversation and possible new defensive coordinators. Will Muschamp, Gary Patterson. Oh, I don't think that's going to happen, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what Baylor ends up going with. Uh, and, And we'll keep you updated as best as we can on Locked on Baylor.